Morning all, welcome to an earlier time, 11 a.m. for the Chess24 Kings Crusher Banter Blitz. So please send your challenges off. Uh, let me just show you the um, discount code screen first. Welcome to an earlier and time, mute over here. For the <laughs> so the discount code Kings Crusher can be used to get a whopping 15% off premium membership so you can challenge me and all the GMs etc world-class players uh, who stream you just turn up 10 to 15 minutes beforehand send your challenge off and it goes into our challenge list and we can pick off the challenges later so and there's numerous other perks as well of, of supporting the great chess 24 sites so let's go on to the uh, challenge challenges now okay and uh, pick off the challenges. So the first challenge today, Frammy. Right, okay, hi Frammy. So I'll start with the English opening. I hope audio and visual is okay. Uh, yeah, I hope the echo has gone now. I muted uh, my thing there. So audio and visual should be okay now, I hope. So the English opening here. Maybe D3. Oh, a bit of pressure already. So defending C3. Uh, instead of, okay, I'll get a pawn towards the center. I get this semi open B file as well. So I think it's a bit of good news given to me there. There's some upsides there to play with. Okay, so uh, I'll try and avoid this exchange of the bishop. I have bishop h1 now. I think that is a reasonably good idea to weaken my king a little bit. But I also want this bishop for targeting b7 potentially. So b7 a bit vulnerable. In fact, check will win b7. Um, knight g5 for bishop takes c6. If I get that dark square bishop, it might be okay. So I'm hitting c6. I'm threatening queen b3 check and knight f7 as well. Okay, that's extinguished. Still on the knights here. Um, okay, so I think it's a bit dangerous to take that knight. I'll just put this back at the moment because I don't want to take here because queen takes would be looking at my king a bit too much. So on the other hand, what about queen a4 now? So knight d4 I take the still on the knight, knight b8. I'd end up taking, I would take the rook in this case. More comfortably, I take that rook without too many questions asked if the knight moves. It's good that my rook's on e1 here because you can imagine knight d4, queen takes, knight takes e2 would be checkmate if the rook wasn't protecting e2. Interesting tactical idea. Uh, if the rook was, say, on d1, uh, okay. This is aggressive, isn't it? Right, I'll move the uh, bishop, maybe to control some dark squares. Because, uh, yeah, if I took, there's an option for taking. Oh, more aggressive. Okay, <laughs> I'll drop it back. There's some weaknesses being created, though. But uh, I'm dropping it back to its loose P square. Okay, the queen's off. I welcome. I can take it here now. There's some weaknesses around the shop here, over here, over here. Let me keep my bishop on. Well, there's a check. Move the checks 
handy for c4 and bishop c3. Well, I hope it's handy. So bishop c3 check coming up. The queen's off. Bishop c3 and e4. What would I have to watch out for? Knight e5 to f3. Okay, can I play this? Check now. The bishops look quite good. Complementary. f3. There's rook e3. Uh, bishop d4. Maybe f3. If e4, knight d3, and that's on f2. Mind you, there is rook e2 there. Is that the end of the world? Bishop g4, rook d2. Uh, it's possible this is, I suppose, or is it? So I'm holding F2 at the moment. There is a bit of attacking pressure here. What about Rook D1? If I played rook d1, okay, I think rook d1, knight e5 though, and the knight f3. Hmm. How about e5 for bishop e4 check? Okay, this knight f3 is annoying. If I took that off, it's same color bishops. Possibly that's the way to go. I have to give up that bishop. That knight looks too annoying to come to f3. I'll put my rook away from the light square bishop. It looks as though I haven't really um, accomplished much apart from win a pawn so far. That'll have to be it for a moment. Can I play E takes D? Okay, I'll uh, protect. Maybe C5 here. Okay. If I keep that rook tension. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Now it's a rook and pawn inning. I think I should keep that pawn because maybe I can go with the king or not. <laughs> oh, okay, this is going to be tricky now. Can I do this instead of rook h7? Okay. All right, maybe it's, it's good enough to get the uh, rooks off. Okay, thanks for the game. Yeah, that was... Actually quite a tough game. 
uh, and a bit worrying. <laughs> okay, okay, Olaf. Um, okay, Olaf. Uh, please note increment challenges, uh, by the way. Uh, D4. Okay, so Olaf. I'm playing Slav Gambit, am I? Yes, or some sort of gambit that I like. Oh, okay, the immediate. Oh, hang on, I think I remember this. In 500 Moth Games of Chess or something, something similar. Would Knight B5? Doesn't Knight B5? Oh, my dear. <laughs> Uh, if the bishop goes back to b8, uh, maybe it's it's not quite. Oh, okay. Well, it looks as I've got a positional edge. Knight takes f3. The dark square bishop's been given to me. The isolated queen's pawn has been given to me. What do I do with these things? I think I'll take with the bishop. Oh, do I keep the queens on? Maybe. I like the blockade square. Mind you, queen c4. Maybe I'll take on a7 outrageously. I think with the bishop pair, the isolated queen's pawn. There's something here, a nagging edge. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Queen c4, rook d1. Rook d1. No, maybe a take. Maybe I'll take. Do I take? <laughs> maybe. Um, mm, okay. I afford B3. Can I afford that? What about Bishop E5? Hang on. Bishop E5. Where does the knight go? Knight D7. Bishop takes G7. Knight E8 seems passive. Maybe Rook here. Rook D1. Putting on some pressure here. On D5. This does look rather good. Uh, okay. That's a bit of a weakness created. In fact, rook d8 is e4, isn't there? D takes, rook takes, e takes. I don't know, he's got a form pawn there. Otherwise, I'd be more tempted. But there's the dreaded form pawn. Is that too much counterplay? I could play bishop g2 with the idea of e4 without any form pawn. But I'm letting him wriggle out. Knight c7 runs into rook c1 though. Okay, okay. Can I just pile on d5 here? Just pile it on. Just pile it on. If I pile it on, queen takes, bishop takes d5. Pull it on. Wondering. Knight c seven. I just take the queen, take the knight. Okay. All right. I think he's concerned. Um. I have to, um, I forgot about e4, yeah. Why didn't I play e4? Alright, it's creating some more weaknesses, and I can't play e4. In fact, e4, oh, e4 would have been so good. However, there are weaknesses being created here around his king. 
surely. Right, I can use this H file with King G2 and Rook H1, which would give me maybe Queen D3 in the future if I nudge that Queen away. Oh, there's Queen F6 here anyway. He just left F6. I think this is falling apart because I've got Rook H1 now and Bishop D4. This looks as though it should be falling apart. Actually, there's a Rook hanging on D8, I've just noticed. Okay, yeah, it was falling apart. Dangerous opponent there. He has beaten me a few times in the past, thanks to the game. Um. Okay, Capaldi. <clears throat> I should have got another coffee. I'm aware of that. I, I didn't have enough coffee before this session. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Um, we might have to start the ten elephant count. One elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants. Eight elephants, nine elephants, ten elephants. Okay, I'm going to board. Okay, Ferris. Bula. Uh, nice picture. What is this? <laughs> okay. Uh, Knight C6. I'm thinking I should have a haircut, but the other one I'm thinking it's freezing. Maybe I need my hair uh, this long. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Bishop G7. Oh, he's got F4, F5. Very aggressive. King H7, F5. Hmm. Is that a bit weakening now? It probably is. On the other hand, maybe not too much. Oh, there it is. How about f4? He's going to end up taking my bishop. I'm playing e5 at this rate, isn't he? Huh. I'll give myself queen f6 as a possibility. It's an F4 here. Ideally 95, but I don't think he'll allow it, unfortunately. 95 would be a dream possession. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. I'm threatening Bishop takes H3 now for Knight F3. No, I think he should have done something different there. This is a nice blockade square. Uh, okay, so Knight takes F4, huh? All right, I'll, I'll protect that for a moment, or Queen G5, maybe Queen G5. Just for a knight takes F3 check, as well as bishop takes H3. That seems rather pleasant. I suppose the king moves... The king moves to H2. Oh, oh pinned pawn alert. The pinned pawn... Pardon me. Ah. ah, okay. Thanks for the game. Yeah, tactics. Yeah, I I think uh, maybe taking on e5 uh, was was better there. Uh, let's have a quick look at that position. I thought white was better. White is much better here. 
all right so like knight d5 because then there's ideas maybe a queen c3 this looks yeah okay i think yeah taking on c6 punctures that e5 square so i'm wondering like or you know yeah it's it's nice for white okay There is I suppose the pop link system. It's a bit energetic, isn't it? D five. Does he close the center with d4? I wonder. Uh, will he? Oh, he's disconnected. Oh. Blimey. What is it, me? Let's just check my internet connection. If I type something over here. Over there. That's still typing over there. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Oh well. Okay, uh that inflates my rating even even more. Okay. <laughs> Free it all. Okay. Uh I I should be featured now on twenty seven hundred chess dot com. I'm a twenty seven hundred player, clearly. <laughs> King's Crusher it now hits the twenty seven hundred club. Okay. Uh this H pawn attack looks dangerous. I think maybe caution to be able to answer with G five to keep things closed. Keeping things closed those rooks without giving the rooks open lines. too easily liberating the rooks so h6 h5 g5 is a good defensive mechanism those rooks really want the roads to be cleared sometimes so uh let's see here am i threatening i'm threatening e takes okay let's threaten a4 and e takes and knight d4 potentially if the knight goes back okay this closes the center I'm I'm happy usually when the center's closed actually happier. It's more King's Engine fill to the position. And as such, I can see the plans more easily. B six, knight b seven to c five, the dark square plans. The adjacent dark squares of the pawns on light squares. So this lockdown knight b seven to c five. If he took, I get that semi open B file. I could take here and have a blockade square on d6 instead. How good is that? that immediately loses the pawn, not yet. No. Knight c5 immediately or target a4. This has echoes of queen e8 to nick a4 if he's not careful. Queen e8, we move the knight back. We move the knight back, knight c5 hits e4 as well as a4 again. Does he play b3? That weakens dark squares. It also drops e4. I forked a4 and e4 here. a4 and e4 are officially forked. I take on e4, I think. It's a nice center pawn. They're usually worth more than normal pawns. Taking central control out sometimes when you take a central pawn. So f5 e4 liberates the dark square bishop as well. It extends this bishop though, it's like downside extending that bishop, slight like upside though, queen e7, maybe also on h4 here. Ah, uh, do I do I risk it? Do I risk it? Or do I just play this trying to tempt some weakness with the h pawn? G3, another weakness. Or two on the light squares if g3 is played. G3 is not gonna be played, play bishop g3 there's f4. 
Okay, the H pawn now drops. Okay, and I haven't even played E4 yet. Maybe took took so that's a lockdown there. There's nothing really to fragment on my queen side. Taking this H4 pawn, I think. A freebie. Queen can return back. Okay, now F four is a tempo gain to be factored in. Okay, I'll take towards the center. This seems much more solid than knowing any theoretical pawn breaks with D six. This lockdown is at a cost. The A five is weakened if I move the rook. I could use the other rook and build on B three. Say I doubled rooks. And triple. Oh, and there's also tactical queen g5. Maybe some tactical downsides instead to look at instead of long term ones. Some more short term concrete downsides. Queen g5, bishop f2, f4, bishop h3. That's much more concrete. Actually, okay, I'm tempted with this a bit. F4 bishop h3 rather than ganging up on b3. So bishop h3 is a concrete one. But I'm weakening g6 a bit, but bishop h3 is immediate concern, surely. Move the bishop. And there's also e4 and bishop d4. And then queen h4. That's very, very concrete. Bishop h3, bishop e1, e4, bishop e4, bishop d4, rook f2, queen g2. Uh, so I'll go for that bishop h3. Very, very concrete stuff. Very, very concrete downsides. Tactical downsides. So bishop e1, e4, bishop e4, bishop d4. Hang on, there's king h2. It's not so easy. Hold on, king h2. e4, bishop e4, bishop d4. King h2. In that position, Bishop F five threatens Queen H five checkmate. It's pretty dangerous, as dangerous goes. So I'll, I'll work with that for a moment. This is very different from the B three pawn plan. It is much more concrete. I'm sacking a pawn now. I'm trying to put my king, my opponent's king, on the h file here. So bishop e4, bishop d4. So nothing can interfere because of queen g2. Threats queen h5 checkmate. Oh, there's bishop f2 though. Okay, I can build some central pressure here. So taking, taking, then that rook's loose. The rooks are not connected. This is a loose rook on f1 to exploit here. So it takes, takes, takes. That loses the rook on f1. Okay. It's good I can get this center doubled rooks quite quickly. So threatening the bishop immediately. On e1. Now, bishop d2, there's rook e2 nearly, or is there? For queen g3, king h1, queen h3, queen h2, queen f1. So rook e2 seems to be winning. Rook e2, rook e2, rook e2, queen e2, queen g3, king h1, queen h3, queen h2, queen f1. I think. I, I could check this once more. Takes, 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 check. King h1, check. There's no king move, queen h2, queen f1. Queen g3, queen h3, queen f1. I mean, okay, you don't want to test that. Okay, should we have a look? Should we have a look at this final position? Uh, takes, check, check, 
Yeah, I think it's pretty clear. I think it's pretty clear. Okay. Um, did I miss Queen G3 checkmate? Queen H3 checkmate or something? Uh, oh, there's Queen H5. I've missed the mate in two with Queen H5. That does weaken the H3 square. Right, I missed the mate in two. Okay, these things are quite easy to miss. Okay. On M, please don't send an increment challenge. Can you stop sending an increment challenge, please? Okay. Hello. There. Okay. Okay, one elephant, two elephants, three elephants. Four elephants, five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants, eight elephants. Okay, we got a game. So this is a line I picked up from Megalus Colson Blitz game once rather than more popular bishop c5 i'm a bit wary of more popular lines because then the i assume the opponents will know bishop c5 more i can play for bishop f8 d5 all right so d5 G5, knight, h5. Oh, this looks weird with the king in the center. It seems a bit outrageous to me. Maybe I'm wrong, but the king's still in the center. D5 just seems to be with benefits here with the king in the center. I'm really going to be given the dark square bishop now as well as a freebie. The dark square bishop with pawns on light squares. That seems to be more important when the pawns are on light squares. Uh, to say I'm happy with this position is, uh, yeah, true. I'm happy with this position so far. I can start looking at very, very concrete downsides now, ta ta tactical downsides, like bishop a3, queen f Queen C3, Bishop A3 almost, Bishop G4, I can start looking at Bishop C5 for Bishop G4 for, for Queen F2, D takes Knight E4, Bishop takes G4, yeah just D takes here for Bishop takes G4, looks good, this looks very very, <laughs> so my opponent's king's in the center, funny enough, okay I think D takes and then Bishop C5, what does he do, Queen E2? There's, there might be Bishop G4 there. I mean, this looks this looks uh, okay. Maybe maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm exaggerating. Gonna find out. Knight takes this. Bishop takes G4. And then I have the idea. Rook takes E4. All right, there's Queen F4 if needed. Okay, Queen Queen F4. I I think that might be good enough. I I could I suppose I'm threatening that though. He's that does unpin. It's annoying. <clears throat> Queen D2, Rook E4 needs to be checked out. Queen G3. Yeah, this this needs to be checked out. Rook takes E4. I, I I'm tempted. I'm tempted. There's a lot of tempting things here. Um, which one though? 
There's a lot. I think the problem with rookie four, he will take 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 on g4 simply. It seems I haven't achieved that much. If he did have the king in the center line, that's that's a lot of fun. Um, what about just queen takes d2 and be more concerned about the clock? Queen takes d2. To worry about knight f6 unpin double rooks on d3 or plank f5 or c5 c4 can play this it is a loose piece what if i doubled rooks h4 is weak there's a few pawn islands rook d5 to h5 is that pointless okay there's almost rookie two check to think about g6 and f5 to deprive this knight h5 f5 i'm thinking about depriving that knight Oh, he wants to feed his knight some squares. Ah, that's annoying. I don't want to give f5 to the knight. Okay, what about rook e3? He should, if he plays knight e4. Ah, uh, maybe. Okay, I have to blunt the rook. Okay, I have to give f5. Uh, I think I have to play this bishop. Bishop f4. I can blockade that d file with bishop d6. And there's always knight e4. What about f5? Or bishop f4 to start off with? Well, I've got these. I've got an extra pawn, right? Isn't that ending? Go for it. I'm going to create a pass pawn here, uh, which should tie down the knight a little bit. I have got fragmented pawns. My king can come to g5 later. Knight f6. I'll stop knight f6 for a moment. In fact, that would have forked and won my g4. That would have been horrible to so allow knight f6. g4 takes, takes, knight f6. Gonna kill off these knights. Um, c5. Try and Keep the pawn with bishop d6 holding the pawns on knight a6. Bishop d6 and g4. Knight a6, bishop d6. Knight d7, bishop d6. Knight's not going anywhere from d7, is that? Well, the king's going away to win this pawn, so g4 surely. King up to g5 to win h5, trying to get two connected pass pawns. I can get the uh, pass the a pawn potential. No, I thought he was going for my a pawn. No, okay, it's undoubling.
do I have to listen to the night? H3987 G2. Alright, thanks for the game. Uh, I think the opening was very shaky there. Very, very shaky opening. Um, I'll be, I wouldn't be too surprised if there was something much more clinical keeping the queens on. It just seemed very, very shaky this way. Yeah, Bishop takes G4. Yeah, rook takes e4, it gives rook takes e4. Now why can't I work out rook takes e4? What's behind rook takes e4? I mentioned something like this. Oh, if the rook goes to f1, then there's queen takes h4. Ah, this would have kept the queens on. If here, queen f4. It's absolutely crushing. It's a very good move, Queen D two, and then White worries less. So Rook takes E four is nasty. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Like uh. <clears throat> I wonder if I'm losing a centre pawn with this. It looks as though I might be losing a centre pawn for not much. Possibly this was inappropriate. Knight takes takes you can win a centre pawn. What do I end up with? Anything? Yeah. Ah, this is a bit inappropriate from the D five. I could start working it out there if there's any tiny bits of compensation. Knight takes micro bits of compensation. Knight takes B takes E D C D ninety five ninety five. Okay, um Okay, he hasn't won a pawn playing like this. Knight takes queen takes refu is refuted by knight e seven check. Otherwise I would be threatening a mate in one. Unless that position is worthy of consideration, King H eight. C three. Bishop F five. Bishop D three. I wouldn't have thought so. Just take her. Okay. I can drag the queen away and then play bishop f5. There is bishop d3. Would I just take that g2 pawn? Bishop d3 takes and then queen g2. Now rook d2, rook d8 is, is good, isn't that? Rook takes, then queen c2 mate. Queen d2, same story, rook d8. Well, this plays queen e2, it looks a bit dodgy. So does he play bishop d3, but the g2 pawn I might nab. <clears throat> Do I nab G two or not? Oh, 
I'm te it's got it's very tempting. Uh, okay, uh, now rook h3, queen takes h1 check. So otherwise, rook h3 is very dangerous. Uh, would be very dangerous. Um, I need to check that. Check king c3, queen c6 check, and then. King a uh, rook moves check king f8 probably not getting made to the immediately okay <laughs> playing the role of stockfish now stockfish pretty greedy against neural networks sometimes taking these pawns okay I'm hoping I can play this yeah I I think rook h okay mm. <laughs> There's rook d seven on f six, so this is actually really dangerous for me. Oh, crikey, this is really dangerous, isn't it? Queen e four for g five. No. Rookie eight, rook h three, queen f two, queen h seven, king f eight. I think maybe. Giving my king f8. Rook h3, queen f2 introduces queen e3. It's queen h7, king f8, queen h8, king e7. And there's queen e5 there. I, I think I might have to stop. <laughs> queen e5. Hang on. King. Rook H three King F nope Rook H three Well this gives me a bit of time for Rook E two I thought Rook H three was the critical test Rook E two Oh there's Rook D eight Queen c6, rook h3, queen f6, stands guard. Mm, I'll go with that. Is that? Maybe. There's a possibility of Queen G seven. Now F G probably I can rule it out because Rook D seven or not. So there's Rook E seven, there's still Rook D eight after. So H G I think Rook H three Queen G seven. Rook D seven, Rook C eight, Rook A C eight. Rook H3, Queen G7. Right, Queen G7. There's Rook E5. Okay. Um. I wonder if there's G5. Um. This is creaking, isn't it? Oh, crikey. Oh, 
Oh, 35 seconds. Okay, I think it's going to be pre-move time as well soon. 35 seconds. Is there a queen f4 check on queen g4? Yeah, it was very dangerous. I expect that it was a winning position for White with Rook H3 simply. Uh, Rook H3 looked really dangerous. Oh, cranky. Right, I needed to play this to go to G7 immediately. This was too greedy. I thought Rook H3 was strong. No, not here. Sorry, not here. I mean, later. This position, Rook H3, yes. It's plus 7.56. That doesn't seem very good. Okay, so if I took here, check, check, Queen E5, and this is mating. I don't think there's any defense to Rook H3, which means I can't take on G2. Rook H3 is a killer threat. I don't think I've got time. If I play this, I was thinking this for Queen G5. Uh, initially, I thought Rook D7. No, no, that that would be okay. Apparently, it doesn't matter about losing C7. I've got Rook F7 after, but this has just stopped with H4. So now there's the big idea of Rook D7. If I play this. Then there's always rook d8, and the problem is I'm getting mated like this. I thought it was really dangerous. Yeah. Uh, so basically, uh, I was greedy there. Uh, there's no point in the blitz game being greedy. Actually, uh, this is king safety high priority. I I think I didn't see this rook left potential. Queen f6 to g7 should be. Apparently okay. Okay. Well played. So the tango. This looks a bit odd, B3. It's like volunteering some dark square weaknesses. I guess Bishop E4 I should have thought about as well for Knight takes E4, but I like the Bishop on this diagonal <coughs> in general. I suppose Bishop B4, Queen D3 maybe, and then there's the threat of or F D6, there's Queen B5 check, picking up the Bishop. I feel kind of cozy now, a6, I'm cozy with this bishop outside the pawn chain. Uh, and so he's not going to win it because I've got now bishop a7. Can't win it by fours. I like the position. Knight h7, knight g5. Oh, 
called Night F4. Knight H7, Knight F4, G5, H5, G4. Maybe C, maybe this C5 is a point. I could maybe discourage this with Bishop D7 for a moment. So if C5, Bishop takes A4. So I think Knight F4, G5, H5, G4. So g5, h5, g4, plan. Sec. Have you took here? This diagonal looks dangerous. Hold on. Uh, so knight takes f4. Um, he's threatening knight takes h5 though. G takes knight takes h5. Oh, maybe there's queen g5 there. And this queen queen h four looks good. So knight g five. Okay, I have opened up this diagonal. On the other hand, g three. Oh, there's knight f three. G takes F2 though, it's crushing. G3, G takes F2 is crushing. Um. Oops, pardon me. Okay, so g3, I think I'm threatening g3, so knight f3, g takes f2 check. There's no queen d4 anyway, I'll take that. If we wanted i, g7 or h8. Rookie one, I just take a queen h1, checkmate. <clears throat> I think f6, king f7, rook h8. f6 blunts the diagonal, and then say so king. On tactical downsides, bishop h3, queen g1. Wouldn't have thought so. Knight g5, if he took queen h4. Knight g5, there's no queen d4 at the moment. So maybe knight g5 is good. Queen g1. If there's no, given there's no queen d4, should I just play knight g5, I wonder? Uh, knight takes queen h4. Maybe, um, if it took uh, check knight h3 bishop h3 eyes resigned okay thanks thanks for the game yeah probably I wonder if the computer says knight g5 here out of interest oh it's got this what about knight g5 that's good as well yeah I mean this diagonal is cutting out an escape square it, it's pretty dangerous stuff okay uh, Cobra
Stirring the tango, enter the tango, enter the dragon, enter the tango. Like this position, I really do. I I just love this kind of position. I love this stuff. Uh, Sense is closed. The dots we had bishop is delicious. What's not to like about this position? A six bishop a seven. Okay, so far so good. I'll stop any use of G5. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I really like this now. Knight G5. I I really like this kind of thing. Okay. Uh, my, okay. If he takes that, then that weakens F4 as well. Okay, so F4, even juicier F4 square. Semi open H file now, as well as knight on F4. So G6, king G7, rook H8, semi open H file. Looks like, yeah, g6, king g7, rook h8 looks pretty convincing. Okay. Okay. That's, that's a point. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll do this anyway. Maybe this rook needs to be back in the game actually. It's not that easy. So King G seven okay, get the rook back in the game. King G seven, rook H eight. Queen D seven, knight H three, takes Queen H three, that sort of thing. Queen D seven, rook H three. Knight h3, g takes rook h3, f3. Oh, there's some trouble here ahead. On the c file, maybe. I think queen d7 might be needed. Well, there's knight e2 check here, weakness of the last move. It's an open invitation for knight e2, weakness of the last move. The knight was pretty dangerous on f4. Thanks to the game, Cobra. Yeah, I, I, I just felt very comfortable uh, in the opening. Uh, on, um, okay.
let's try hippo style actually uh, here I'm going to try and be hippo about this hipster I'm going to play hipster style or not am I going crazy I'll need the knight on d7 What I wanted to avoid was d takes e5. Can I avoid that? If I go for the hip hippo setup and then any d5, e5, any e5, d5, any g5, h5, any h4, h5, g5, a6, b5. G5, H5, G5, H5, H5, G5, and this is sacking a piece. Okay, that seals F5 a little bit. Can I afford B5 or just castle kingside? B5, is that too weakening? B5 might be okay. Right, so now play E5, that's the way to react, D5, E5. Now, if he plays f4, he is opening up my bishop. My king seems quite secure for f uh, for castling. In fact, here b6, knight c5, or b6, a5, knight c5. Okay, that gives me e5. Oh, I'll put a knight there, yeah. So b5, bishop d7 for b4. Looks okay. Bishop d7, queen b8, b5, b4. Bishop d7, queen b8. Maybe a5, b4, a5, b4. Or is it too weakening? Knight c4 might be interesting. Well, there's a bit of weakening. Um, maybe knight takes f3, uh, knight g4, maybe knight g4 for a moment. Uh, so I'm threatening knight f2, I just don't want to leave a strategic break like d6 available. If he took on e5, you'd have d6 ripping me apart sometimes. Okay, he might have bishop takes h5 later. I'll play queen b6 for a moment. Alright. a5, b4, can I make progress over here? There's f7 on the fire. Okay, I might be giving c4 up. F7 at the moment is just about okay. A4, B3, am I weakening or am I creating an opportunity? Or both maybe, A4, B3. I've got Bishop E8 if needed. And this is something like Knight E6. And Rook takes F8, if he's trebling, he didn't land a kind of gun. To cause some damage on f7, surely. So it puts the rooks like that, and the queen at the base of the rooks. Only bishop e8, that would be knight e6 for rook f8. How else to get to f7? Alright, I'll go forward with this plan b3. Does he just respond with a3, just keeping things. Is e5 on the cards? Is e3 useful? It's got bishop d4 coming up. If I play c5 head to stop bishop d4, dc, knight c6. Uh, then he has got uh, bishop c4. Maybe there's bishop e6 there. And then d6 drops off. So there's a little sparks for bishop d4, is it? 
I'll push through with B3 for a moment. If I took on C2 just to distract this bishop D4 a bit. I have my bishop B5 just to get away from this. Uh, let's take some bishop B2 here the way he's playing it. All right, fence the game on M. Okay, interesting. Uh, Tamilson, hi. This is a little bit unusual, knight c6 and e6 against the English opening. Okay, I'll take the center here. I'm thinking of the knight on c6. Black might want to claw some uh, dark square weaknesses out of this, but uh, it might be harder than usual. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. This is an interesting pawn sack idea. So any knight, any um, knight before queen b3 is knight d3 check. So what if I played e5 instead? Okay, there is bishop g4, maybe knight e2. I can take that center pawn, it seems. I'll dare take it. My king's still in the center. One shouldn't, in general, do active operations when not beyond defeat. Art of War indicates you have to put yourself beyond defeat before going on to the attack, usually. And here my king is right in the center, but at the moment I think I can get away with it. Knight d takes e5, it doesn't matter, the bishop's protecting the knight. Check, I can take rook e8, knight g e7. What about just taking the dark square bishop then, knight e7, knight e2, knight g e2. Rook e8, knight takes e7. Okay, yeah, 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 good one. Okay, knight takes an f4 though. Now it's getting a bit dicey with my king in the center. F takes, d takes, maybe knight takes e5. Quite violent. Knight g e2. I could try and avoid a lot of this, I think. With knight g e2, just give back a pawn. F takes d5, knight d4. Uh, okay, okay, okay. This could this could be violent. This this could be very violent. Knight sack. Uh, potentially. F takes, D takes, Knight takes, F takes, Queen takes. Would he do it? Would he do it? I can get the Queens off. <laughs> That's a relief. I can get the Queens off. Control C5, Castle Queenside. There's Knight B4 here. Knight B4, Bishop E4. Okay.
knight f3 to g5 knight f3 to g5 Mm, okay, I think uh, I feel a bit safer now. Okay, so stop the use of C four. Oh, more dynamics. I don't. Want, I don't want another pawn necessarily. Uh, can I not just have Bishop D two with a cozy life? Knight F three, H four, Knight G five, that sort of thing. Knight F three, H four. Knight F3, H4, Knight G5. Just to try and open up this H file. King B2, Knight G5. Alright, does he give me the H file? He's got a blockade square. Bishop F5 after Knight takes. Um. Okay. The dark square bishop is about the counterpart. G3 under fire. Possibly I should take now for bishop c3 and then e6 check. Okay, so knight f7. Actually, if he opens the h file, this is mating, rook h1 is just mating uh, nearly. Uh, he takes out that pawn, it's not. Knight f7 for knight h6. Nope, there's no. What about e7? Oh. Okay, I've just given a pawn really. Okay, I've given a pawn. Given a pawn back, but I got that bishop. Not bishop takes a uh, rook. To the centre, rookie se uh, rookie one, rook d e one. Not don't lose g three. Hang on, rook d e one. <laughs> I'm losing the plot here now. Okay, I think I'm I'm losing the plot here. I've got this nice bishop. That's about it. G four. Move for f five. Open up this g file. F five. Knight e5. There is knight e4. F takes. Knight takes. Check. Alright, thanks for the game, yeah. Okay, it was getting. I thought let's have a look at that opening. I th I think black could be violent here. Black is slightly better. Oh crikey! Hang on. Black is much better. So if I take here, I'm right. <laughs> I'm totally right about this. Look, look at this. I was just saying I, I wasn't beyond the feet because my king is in the center. Look at this. This is what happens. Say, so, say so I play knight g e two. So I can't castle. The king's in the center. All of the opponent's pieces are working well. This could have been a completely different story. Queen b4 check, black's winning. 
completely different story. That would be huge problems. Um, bit risky. Knight takes d5. So apparently, knight g e2 is much safer. And here, this is running again. Knight f4. This is much safer. So nicking this pawn actually, potentially, is losing. The way I played it after f6 is a good move. This is okay. F4 was needed. Now I think I mobilized my opponent's pieces, got rid of bad piece. Um, well, yeah, knight d takes e5. Something to be wary about. King in the center taking a pawn. Fast moving. H five, huh? Interesting. H uh, five. Uh, a bit of prophylaxis, maybe against G four, but it does weaken G five. And I might do an e5 pawn sack. Whoa, whoa! Oh, I like this. Bishop g5, bishop f6, knight d5. Big hole on d5, giving up a dark square bishop. If you look at Leela neural network games, when you give up a bishop, when she gives up a bishop of a certain color, it seems there's devastation on the other color soon after. In very unexpected, dramatic ways. Will that be the case here? Bishop takes. So the light squares, or even form pawn knight d5, if the bishop moves h4, bishop h6, f6. Oh, it's almost queen d8. Looks as though there's something wrong with my opponent's position. Um, knight takes, pawn takes, f takes, fg. Or is it okay? I think knight takes seems logical. It does. I don't mean the knight's doing anything else, is it? Or knight c3. Knight c3 it could be doing, it could be reinforcing the one to bishop c6. Do I leave that knight on d4 and just reinforce d5? Let's see, b5, a, b, a, b. There's no rook a8, knight f6. So knight e c3. Uh, that will say g5. There's queen h5. So would I have a threat of queen d2, there's knight b3. Work around this knight for a moment. Oh. You know what? I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go against bishop c6. There is an upside here. It's rechargeable battery. Rechargeable knight on d5. I'm leaving this monster on d4 for a moment. Monster knight. So queen d2, knight b3. What I want to do, g5 is a disaster, queen h5. I want to play fg. I think, for example, under the right circumstance. Can I clamp down on that? So there's no B5 counterplay. Thanks very much. What about just G4? Hold on a sec. G4. G4. He always played King G7, Rook H8. Okay, takes and then queen h4, takes and then form pawn with f6. I rave about the form pawns recently. 
Would the king just move here? Maybe there's h5 on the king just moving to g7, h5. Alright, form pawn installed. Is it good here? Can I kick my opponent's pieces away from dark squares ever? d4 and h4 installments. Uh, there's queen g4 here. Queen g4 looks mega dangerous. It's a weakness of the last move. It's invited queen g4, literally. Knight f4, queen takes h4, bishop g5. Well, the knight can't ever move. Bishop h4, uh, bishop h6, queen h4. I have four. I'm going for it. Bishop g5. I think bishop g5 to h6. Crawls away, does it? Well, there's queen h5 check here, and knight e7 wins the queen. Yeah, this is bad news. Yeah, knight knight e seven is is winning the queen here. The form pawn's pretty bad. Yeah, knight e seven wins the queen. Okay, yeah, tense tense game there. Um, and this might have to be the last game today. Okay, five color words. Okay. That is a picture of is that five colours of wood? No, that's 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 not necessarily okay. Hmm. I'll support D four and then knight F four. So some pressure on d5 here in this fixed pawn structure in the center. Oh, that's interesting. Mm, that's very tempting. A tempting offer. Knight takes e6. Surely my light square bishop without the counterpart could be good later. Uh, I'm telling about knight g6. I think I'd rather this. <clears throat> Tick all the light squares immediately. Immediate tactical downsides. E6 is, looks like a backward pawn to torture. Um, Bishop f4 for rook fe1. It looks pretty direct. Except knight f5, knight f5. There's bishop e5 there, knight fd7. What about knight a4 to annoy oh, this bishop? Knight a4. You can go to c5 later on knight f5, knight b6. Okay, I don't want to spend too long. Knight f5 is useful for black. Knight c5, okay, hell. Knight f5, knight c5. Let's say knight c5. Can I get some decent pawns on the queen side? Or not? Maybe just reinforce that for a moment. Mm, 
Okay, this looks too scary to play details. I've got a backward pawn here now. Solidified my centre a bit. Um, can I do this? Okay, bishop f3, knight's a bit restricted. e5, queen f5, I want king g2 as well. This seems a bit scary, my king, for a moment. Okay, that loses a pawn. Rook takes a queen a6. I mean, I will take that invite up for a pawn. Past a pawn now, a4, a5, a6, etc. What? What? Is my pawn surrounded or something in time? A7, win the knight. Is it worth it? King takes B7, A takes. It is a piece up. Isn't there a simpler way of playing this? King F3, or just H4 to make sure G5 is not played. If I start with H4, what does black actually do? Say H4, King D8, there's A7. Say h4 king b6 there's king f3 now could eliminate and i take on a6 and then queen the b pawn so that looks good enough h4 yeah for king f3 to f4 okay i have to stop i think knight e4 Maybe there's some technical issues here. At least g6 is a fixed target as well. Alright, the king can't go to b6 at least. Knight g4, bishop takes g6. Right, if I took that in king f4... No, what if I just played bishop takes g6 here and allow e4 check? I don't want to give up the e5 control. d takes knight g4, for example. I don't need the hassle. Bishop takes g6. e4, king f4, knight g4, bishop h5. ed, ed. Still stand a guard on c5, king f4 now for king g5. King g5. I can probe this knight for a moment. Oh, the knight goes back to b8. I can play bishop c8. Okay, king a6, king h5. And there's still c5 for the running d pawn. Is it actually worth playing bishop c8? I just let him take the pawns and queen my uh, h pawn rapidly. Bishop wants to stand guard over the opponent's pawns. All right, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I hope you got something out this week. Um, thanks. Yeah, one fun, uh, ten boring. If you want to vote. Um, 
Uh, yeah, I got lucky this week a bit. Um, and okay, have a good rest of the Sunday. See you next week. Thanks very much.